Welcome to Remo, the networking and event platform. We are going to take the next few minutes to make sure you understand how the platform works and to make your transition to this platform as smooth and simple as possible. When you first enter, you will notice it is set up like an actual event with tables, breakout rooms, and a stage. The default setting for your camera and mic are off. You can turn them on and off by clicking on the icons at the bottom of the screen. The first thing you will want to do is set up your profile. In the top right corner of your screen, you will see your first initial. When you click on it, you will see the update profile option. This is essentially your Remo business card. You will now be able to edit your name, as well as add your company, social media, and contact information. Once complete, this may take a few minutes to update on the site. It's time to let people know who you are. Update your picture profile with either your company logo or your own headshot. Add in your name, headline, which is a simple description of who you are and what you do, your company, job title, as well as a calendar, social media, and website links. It is now time to save and head to the event. You can check to see if your mic, cam, and speaker settings are correct by clicking the three lines at the top left of your screen. The platform is automatically set up to your default settings. You can change the camera, mic, or speaker settings if need be. Let's go over some of the general things to make sure you fully understand the platform. When you arrive at the virtual event, you will be placed at a random open table. This is done to encourage networking and meeting new people. To see who else is at the event, you can hover over their avatars and this will allow you to see their name. If you click on it, this will bring up their virtual business card. You can now click on their LinkedIn or Facebook profile, website, booking calendar, or send them a private message. At the top of your screen, you will see a stage. To its immediate left, there might be a video for you to watch. To the right, there may be some kind of messaging about the event, i.e. the agenda for the event, any updates, or anything to that effect. You also have the ability to zoom in and out within the room. This can be accomplished using the mouse wheel. You can also pan around the room by holding down the left mouse button and moving it around. Depending on the number of attendees at the event, there might be multiple floors. To the left of the screen, you will see the virtual elevator. You can visit different floors by clicking on one of the numbers on the elevator. This will take you to another floor and drop you at a random table. While at the table, you can toggle between Tile View and the Room View. At the bottom of the screen, click Tile View to make everyone's screen at the table larger. To get back to the Room View, click on Back to Map. If you would like to make a screen bigger, you can click the four arrows in the top right corner of that window. Click them once again to make it smaller. You have the option to share your screen with people at the table. That can be found at the bottom of your screen. To turn off Share Screen, click on the Share Screen icon. You also have the ability to bring up a whiteboard for sharing ideas. Everyone at the table will have access to it. This can be closed by clicking on the X at the top right of the screen. It's easy to move between tables. All you have to do is double click on the one you want to move to. On the right and left of the screen, you will see breakout rooms. They function essentially the same as the other tables. The only difference is that they might be sponsored. If they are, then there will be a logo just above, and you will be able to click on those logos in order to learn more about the sponsors. At the bottom of the screen, you will see the chat icon. There are three options for chatting. There is the general chat, where anyone at the event can read what is being typed. The table chat, where only people at the table can read it. And private chat, where only whomever you are speaking with can see and read it. You will know that there has been something posted as a number will appear in the chat. Finally, there is presentation mode. This happens when someone goes on stage to speak. When this occurs, your mic and camera are automatically turned off. You will still, however, have the chat option available, plus two new options. If you click on participants, it will bring up a list of everyone at the event. It gives you the same options as the virtual business card. You can even search to see who is at the event. There is also the Q&A button. By clicking on that, you can ask questions to the people on stage. If there are already a question in the queue, you can vote them up in priority. Technology can be wonderful, but it can also be infuriatingly frustrating. The simplest solution to most problems is to refresh your screen. That usually resets any issues you might find you have. 
you also may find that your audio or video connection isn't great. This could be due to your internet connection. At certain times of the day, the traffic on the internet can get quite busy and slows down the transference of data. It doesn't matter what program you're running, there's no way for a program to solve that issue. You also may find you can't see or hear anything. First, check to see if your micro camera is on. If yes, check the settings to make sure they are all set correctly. As of right now, Chrome is the best platform to run Remo on. Some people have had trouble when they use a tablet or Safari, but for others, it works just fine with those. And that is Remo in a nutshell. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoy your event.